Only a warm-blooded bird that stays with its eggs and keeps them warm too would have any chance at all of breeding in these conditions. And conditions are getting worse. Temperatures are plummeting. These penguins have journeyed here to find a partner and to mate. Now, inside the female's body, another journey starts. Here, in her ovary, the largest of a cluster of follicles has reached maturity and contains an ovum. Most is yolk, food for the new chick. But there's also a nucleus containing half of the chick's genes. When it's released, the ovum begins its journey down her reproductive tract. Waiting sperm swarm all over it, searching for the nucleus. Several get through but only one can contribute its half of the chick's genes. Now that the egg is fertilized, muscles contract to keep it moving. Spiral ridges force it to rotate so that it can be coated with albumin, the egg white that will provide the chick with water and protein and defend it against infection. Strands of albumin suspend the yolk like a hammock allowing it to rotate and ensuring that the embryo remains on top where it can develop safely. Everything is bound together by membranes, but the egg is still soft and fragile. To survive in the outside world, it will need a shell. For months, the female penguin has been storing calcium in cavities in her bones. Now her blood carries that calcium to her shell gland, where it surrounds the egg as a concentrated solution. At seeding points on the fibrous shell membranes, the calcium crystallizes. Entwined with special proteins, it grows to form an eggshell. Finally comes the cuticle, which helps waterproof the egg and gives it its characteristic texture. Now it's ready to be laid. Only by producing a completely self-contained world in which the embryo can live and grow for the next 64 days can these birds create new life in this inhospitable place. But making it has exhausted the female. She needs to find food. She passes the egg to her partner. He takes it into his brood pouch, a pocket that holds the egg just above his feet and next to a patch of bare, warm skin. And she joins the other females on the long walk back to the sea and to food. But it will be months before the males eat again. They're just incubators now. It may seem a strange system, but it works. Because inside its egg, the chick has food when there is no food available nearby, and warmth when outside it's freezing. <laughs> 